Hello, my name is Mark Chapman. I'm the community support worker for Site Concern Bedfordshire. Recording videos is not my um, skill base, so excuse me if this is terrible. I won't really know unless, if, if it's any good until I re-watch it and listen to it. I'm going to try and talk through everything I'm doing as well for people who may be watching this who are visually impaired. So bear with me. If it's rubbish, I promise you'll never see it. But hopefully you are watching this one. Um, I'm basically talking about a giraffe reader. For people that can see on the screen, it folds flat. It's basically some corrugated plastic. It folds flat and with a few bends in the right place, which you may not see on the screen very well, it folds into a little platform for an iPhone which is very very clever the way it does it. Now if you were to put a piece of A4 paper and you can feel that you're putting it in the right place because the base of the giraffe reader is A4 size so you can feel that you're putting it in the right place. If I just move it to show people that can see there so it kind of uh, has a footprint of an A4 size. Okay. Now, my iPhone, which I have turned voice over. 808. 808. Wednesday the 21st of May. Unlock. Unlock. Now, I don't use voiceover very much, so I'm a bit rusty sometimes, so bear Double with me. Tap to open. There's a program called Prismo. Prismo. Double tap. So if Prismo. I open up Prismo, Prismo. Settings. Button. put my phone in the top of the draft reader, I'm hoping you can see all this. And if you can't see this, you're following me. Okay, now there's a button. Quick capture button. I'm going to press the quick. Quickly capture and export text or image without making a document. Thank you, voiceover. So I'll just double tap that. Camera, no visible page. Now it's opened up. It's got an automatic page finder. Um, I found that it actually wants me to go higher with that than I want it to be because that's the, the height of the draft reader has set the perfect page. For some reason, the software wants it to be pulled up a bit to get more in. But so I'm going to press take picture. I'm going to press take picture anyway and see what happens. Take picture heading processing. Now basically, it has scanned the document that I put beneath, and if I press, well I can scroll down, or I can press read, I'm just going to pause that. I think some of that was out of focus, some of that was a bit dodgy, but I think you get the impression. Basically, the giraffe reader is about £32. The iPhone app, which I've never seen one as good as that. I've played with ones before that are either free or a couple that were 69p and they were rubbish. They didn't work, they were all over the place. This has judged columns, that was part of our news and views, which is in two columns. One of the other apps I used would have read right across, making no sense whatsoever. That read Chris Randall's article pretty good, I think. I'm not sure how it copes with bills and things, but we'll try that. Um, so anyway, so 30, £32 for the draft reader, 6 99 for the app. That's a lot cheaper than about £1,700, which I think one of the cheapest hardware versions is. So anyway, I'll have a look at that and see how it um, comes across and maybe you'll be watching this soon. Thank you. Bye bye.